How's it going everyone? My name's Necro and welcome back to another episode of Game of Thrones. Hope you enjoy. Lady Mira! There she is! Take her! What's all this? I'll tell you on our way. You're making a big mistake. Don't you know who this is? Doesn't matter who he is. We're here for you. This is Lord Rickard Morgren, the most powerful ironwood merchant in King's Landing. One word to your oh. superiors, and he'll have I got you the parted text. off to the wall. Rickard, tell them how far you'd go to protect ah. your friends. Well, Lady Mira, fuck you. I hope these men aren't bothering you. We have orders from Captain Lucan to. Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. <laughs> Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mira? Hoo <laughs> The Rivergate. Thank you. The Rivergate. Quick as you can. What's going on, Mira? Is there a problem? Maybe I can help. Someone's plotting against me. Plotting? What do you mean? They're spreading malicious rumors. And worse, they've set the guard after me. I see. That is worrying indeed. Yes. Clearly, you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although, you've made short work of one of them, at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was just the beginning. I plan to destroy anyone in my way. Of course, now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up. Particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. The Ironwood market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. There's opportunity enough for both of us, Lord Morgren. Think of what we could accomplish if we worked together. <laughs> I have thought about it. I've thought about it a great deal. You're clever, Mira. Getting that decree from Tyrion's chambers, I still wonder how you managed such a feat. I put the key in the box. I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Fuck. Imagine a handmaiden stealing the crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Fuck! Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. Killing Lannister guards does not go unnoticed. I knew it. I never should have trusted you. Of course not. You should never trust anyone in King's Landing. That might have been your only mistake. But a costly one. After Lud takes Ironrath, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been Shit. very helpful, Mira. But it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. You're making a mistake, Morgren. Lud will turn on you the first chance he gets. You're a fool if you don't see that. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Tell me, Mira. Who is the fool here? You or I? You! Oh! Ah! Ah! Fuck! X. Stop. Punch your throat. We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter. Lucan, fancy coming across you here. 
Oh, I shit. seem to have found something you're looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Finally, I got her. Uh. Lady Marjorie will hear of this. <laughs> She'll have your head. Lady Marjorie will want nothing to do with you, Mira. It's time for you to answer for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Oh, fuck. Chin up, Mira. I'm sure if you ask her <laughs> nicely, the headsman will be quick. Chin up. <laughs> oh, no. Fuck. Oh, big old titties of the hamster. Forgive my brother's temper. It's said over time, wargs adopt the traits of their animal. And your news was unexpected. You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. And oh, we are his fuck. bastards. I doubt anyone knows. It was his dark secret. And he feared his family would find out. No one at Ironraft knows of this. Not that I've ever heard. I suspected as much. Josera would say he banished us to hide his shame. But I like to think it's because he knew what we were. That he was protecting us in his own way. We thought one day Gregor would come and see everything we've built. But instead it was you. You are the first to arrive. It must have been a difficult journey. Just Few a little try, bit. And fewer still live to tell about it. I wouldn't have made it alone. I had help from my friend, Cotter, and, and Sylvie. But they were following your lead. You were the one who was sent by House Forrester. Our father entrusted us with protecting the North Grove. That has always been our purpose. But we've learned there's a power here, Garrett. A power we've only just begun to understand. Winter is coming. And we haven't much time. Winter is coming. What are you doing? Gregor Ven Fiond and Bjorn Sager Ven. Swell old Mopre Befastan. The fuck was that? Oh, I go into my bed now. Okay. Oh, whiteies. Oh. oh. Damn. I fuck you. I fuck you with fire. Yeah, but. Hop. Yeah. Hop. 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 Ah oh, no! He dead. Oh, I'll take that. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, it's fucking late. Quick, save him. Save the bell. Oh, it bit his fucking head off. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, you're an ugly bastard. That's fucking Finn, isn't it? Is that Finn? Oh! What? What? Stop, 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 stop. Oh, goodbye. Oh. Burn, baby, burn. Just got burned off. Oh. What about the sword? We're just gonna live a sword. You fought well, for a crow. Thank you. I saved your life. I wouldn't go that far. Although I admit you can fight. Maybe they did teach you something at Castle Black. You fought well yourself, or at least you bear did. <laughs> His name is Shadow. Killing them, I don't mind. It's the burning that stays with you. You'll never forget that stench. Did you see what they just did? They don't care about their own. My sister has trained them well. Emotion is a weakness, according to her. Uh, hmm. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. They seem... fearless. That's what they've been trained for. Nothing else matters but that. The more my sisters do, enough. not mine. The Whites grow bolder by the day. Ever since the Wildling tribes went south with Man's Raider. Here, let me help you. I'm fine. It's nothing. I should return to the village. Fulgorn Vicenir. Did you not hear me? Fulgorn, Suna! <laughs> oh, fuck! What? Wait! What's his problem? Fulgor and Vicenir. The eyes are huge. I was like, wow! You're losing control. What was that? It's blood magic. The more she uses it, the weaker she becomes. And they can sense it. Elsa is a fool to keep taking these risks. One day, they'll kill us all if we're not careful. Is there some way to help her? She is convinced her blood magic is the only way to protect the North Grove. That her warriors are the answer. But she can't oh. control it. I worry about her. It's more dangerous than she knows. She was right about one thing, though. The Whites are growing bolder, and the worst is yet to come. Sorry about your arm, Mr. Bell. Now that my father's dead, there's no reason to stay. That's why he sent you, isn't it? To bring us back to Ironrath. To crush our enemies south of the Wall, and avenge his death. Oh, we can't leave the North Grove. And stay here to die. I'd rather live. After you. I yeah. know what my okay. father said. The North Grove can never be lost. But he wouldn't want us to die because of it. If I can take him back, then I'll take him back. If I'm honest. Where's Sylvie? Never trust a fucking wildling.
Where did she go? Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. I'm in prison. <laughs> I'm pretty much but what the fuck is all that? Teeth. Oh god. I could use Those them. Are human teeth. Could easily kill someone with a tooth. Jailer! Please. Shut it! Please come here! Who's that then? Fucking hell. Your head snapped quickly. Mm. Uh, hello? I excuse me? What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Cos if not, I don't want to know. Hey! No talking! Jailer! Jailer, come over here! Oh, don't you start again! Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it! Or I will come in there, and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want then? Well, tell me! <laughs> Please! He'll stick I'll his penis up your butt. Just tell me! Up your butt! <laughs> Bastard! Bastard! Before no. the day's over, they'll take us straight to the block. So don't give me that look. Well, fuck you, do. You can leave the judgment to the father. Whatever gods you believe in. I'm sorry, I, I meant no offence. But we have to keep our heads held high. Fuck even hell. when everything else is taken from us. <laughs> <laughs> I have a son. A little baby boy. Oh. I think of the smell of his skin. Huh? His tuft of brown hair. Oh. There is nothing I wouldn't do. Nothing. Just to hold him again. Dignity is worthless compared to that. Oh well. What would you do in my place? I'd top myself. I'll never see him again. Your family needs you. Nothing else matters. I do whatever it takes to survive. Whatever it takes. I know, blowjobs. Whatever. My lord, please. Please take me out of here! Mira, making friends already, I see. Hello. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. Punch him in the face. Oh, no, no. Come on, you! No! no. Please! Wait, wait! No! Get off! Shut me. your fucking mouth! They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. What are you doing here, Morgren? Come to rub your triumph in my face. Far from it, Lady Mira. I've come to make you an offer. Oh, Jesus. I was thinking about what you said, and I've come to the conclusion you're right. Lud will likely betray me the first chance he gets. And I yes. realized I'd overlooked something of great value. Your name. I want you as my wife. <laughs> oh my god. Your wife? Do you do all your wooing in cells? I'm new to courting, but I imagine less violence and intimidation. Wars are won and lost in the marriage bed, Mira. Kingdoms too. And I want my own kingdom. I'll start with an old and noble house, with a keep like Ironrath. Get fucked. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. 
Marrying me won't help you get Ironrath. The title belongs to my brother. He's the rightful lord. <laughs> I am well aware of the king's law, Mira. You think I haven't thought about that? Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> he marches on your house in full force with ten times your numbers. No. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive the battle. You don't know that! Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. So we'd rule together, as Lord and Lady of Ironrath. <laughs> That's an amusing thought, but not what I had in mind. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Fuck you now, man. Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. Oh, fuck. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to me. Oh, marry. fuck. You'll give up your power. You'll give up. Your ancestral home, but you'll be alive. So I could kill you and take it so, all back. Mira, what do you say? Okay. Ah, oh, what do we do? 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 Uh, fuck. Okay. Good. I'll eat your cock to save my house. <laughs> He's got to stick his penis up my butt. Up my butt. That'll be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next episode.